hi this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment and for this week's video I am trying to figure out a better way to organize my time and my life and my art. So okay this is what I started with this is just a sample from July of uh, I don't know a while ago year and a half ago and I did like a daily section for the week then I had a grocery thing, I had a thing for science for homeschool, um, some art stuff working on. And then this was like a roll over to-do list of like home chores, yard chores, um, school stuff, things for the kids. Okay, <laughs> so you kind of get the format I was doing. And what was happening week after week is a lot of this was rolling over, like this whole page was rolling over, and it became too cumbersome. It just became too much writing it over and over and over again. And <laughs> I would get like two things knocked off a list and then I'd have to add two more. And eventually it just became really discouraging. So I kept checking out this book from the library <laughs> and it kept having a huge wait list. So I had to keep waiting for it over and over and over. But what I think I'm gonna do and I've got a pretty good spread open here, is looking at the key concepts of trying to bullet journal and figure out a better way to do this, is I think I need a monthly log and a different style of daily log for doing this. I think this should be sort of more of a monthly thing. And then it's just my dailies that roll over into each other as the weeks progress because this was making it too discouraging and it was just too much work for my brain week after week. So if I only have to write things once a month, then there's more items to be checked off, theoretically, hopefully, optimistically. And then, I mean, <laughs> the flip side will be there's more things to add if I'm only doing it once a month. But you get what I'm saying. Like this just wasn't maintainable for very long. So, my moleskin finally came and I put my sticker on it. Um, they sent me the, the hardbound instead of the soft, but it's fine. It's a moot point. Um, I may add more stickers later. Again, this is the 400 expanded, so the pages are thinner. I don't mind that. I am here for quantity as much as I can get for the price I can get. So I'm really hoping that 400 pages using both sides lasts, uh, please last three years, <laughs> pretty please. I don't know. We're gonna see how this works. Um, and so we're gonna try things and migrate lists and see if there's a way to do this. They recommend having, an, this is by uh, writer Carol, in case you're wondering. Um, I got this one on eBay, gently used. Uh, <laughs> I think there's some highlighted stuff in here. It goes into depth of some other things. Um, God, I love this book so much. But as my needs change, the parts and pieces I need from this book change. So this is why I decided to own it instead of just constantly re-upping and waiting on the hold list from our local library. So I need to create an index. A future log. This is for... Okay. And I need to figure out how I'm going to divide my house stuff, like my house chores, like things for the kids, which encapsulates homeschool, and then all the art stuff, like my work, and figure out if my future log should be divided in three, or if that's something that maybe part of that can be monthly instead of, this is, this is the process. Like I know it's fun to watch folks put things together with jump cuts and have it all laid out and have it all fancy with all the art. But um, this is the back end side of it. So I'm just gonna show you in real time <laughs> how my brain is trying to parse this and figure out the best way to do this so this is sustainable long-term. I do not like to go into things that I hope help me with time management and motivation and things and have them fail because it just sort of feels like a two step forward, one step back situation. And I just, it, 
becomes too it becomes too much and I don't like it so for rapid logging these are like the little symbols they use or recommend that you use um, that's fine migrating content that's fine this is sort of like the cheat sheet page. That's why I'm showing you this one. We can cheat sheet together <laughs> if you don't want to read the whole book. So yeah, I need to figure out what's what because I also have my planner here. And in my planner, I'm making notes for my book stuff on the left-hand side page. And it's all gonna be blue because it matches the cover because that's what my brain does. Forgive my brain, I can't help it. So. I'm in two planners, theoretically. I'm in that one for the art, and then this one for home and life, maybe? Oof. And we could put things together. I need to figure out. There's going to be ghosting, obviously, because the pages are thin. And if, depending on the pen I choose, there could be bleeding. So I need to be careful. Um, pinks and reds really bleed with ink, just FYI. So I can pull out maybe a gray pen or something. I don't know, I'll think about it. And I need to figure out which part of this is going to work for me. Would, if I create and use pages for an index, is an index something I would refer to? Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a couple pages blank. And if I wanna go back and create an index, I have that option or I can use the first two pages as, um, if I decide a couple months down the road that an index isn't necessary and I can use tabs instead or something, then I can use those pages for sort of test pages to see which pens bleed and which ones, you know, ghost and what that looks like. So they could just be test or sample pages. Either way, it all gets used. So it is the beginning of February. This is a 29 day February. This is a leap month. Uh, Lunar New Year is this month for those that celebrate. Valentine's Day is here for those who celebrate. There's a couple holidays. And then get into the daily logs. So I'm really trying to this year figure out a better schedule. Um, this is one of the things like they don't talk about when you like run your own stuff and own your own stuff and have your own business and do your own freelancing work or have a YouTube channel and create videos. Something that isn't talked about a lot is being your own boss and understanding what that looks like with obligations, um, what that looks like with trying to figure out scheduling and time. And it's not for everyone and it's not always easy and it's not always fun. So it's a job, it's work. It may not look like uh, some standard jobs you immediately think of when you think of work, but it's just a different type. So figuring out a better schedule and what I need to do is probably, I am a night owl. Oh my gosh, did you know this? Okay, for those of you who are new to my channel, hi, my name is Kendra and I'm a night owl. I am not an early bird. I like the AM you stay up for, not the one you wake up for, but I need to kind of flip that a little bit and I need to carve out some morning hours just for putting together this book I'm working on and just for making sure that I'm getting everything done that needs to get done. The th what happens when you add a huge project to your life, <laughs> like I'm doing this year, um, it becomes like one more chunk of things to do. And when you add a chunk, sometimes another chunk falls apart or goes to the wayside or gets forgotten or just isn't dealt with in the timely manner it has used to be dealt with or should be dealt with. So I need to make sure if I'm adding a bunch of stuff that nothing else sort of falls apart and gets forgotten. I know, not fun, <laughs> not fun. Adulting is dumb. Don't do it. Never grow up. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Aging is awesome. Big fan. Now, <sighs> I'm just trying to wrap my head around the best way to do some of this because I also have how we homeschool is in here. 
And these are my homeschool records. Let me show you. I don't know if there's something I can show you without names. Is there something I can show you without names? Okay. Okay. This looks okay. It just has abbreviations. So this is the undated travelers monthly. And this is how I keep track of some of rotating things and different projects and when to add book reports and okay so there's just additional notes so there is a homeschool thing that i keep for homeschool records and you're like sheesh sheesh do you need more things yeah i need, apparently need all the things i need all the things this is why um it gets sort of out of hand <laughs> and then you know i mentioned my thing with post-its we won't revisit that but it gets out of hand with all the records and all the stuff. So it would be nice to have more things coalesced into one where I can flip through it and be like, all right, we're having a sunny day. Here's the yard work or it's a rainy day. Here's housework I never get to that needs, you know, wiping baseboards or something random that needs to be done that I haven't done in a while. Sort of like that. <laughs> but making sure I'm still hitting the key points on the book I'm working on and doing my planner for my Instagram and making sure that the homeschool stuff is still good for chemistry lab and, you know, history lab. And we do a lot of hands-on stuff because it's just more fun and tactile learning is the way to go. Um, but it's more work. Everything's more work when you want to have it, you know, be a little bit different and accessible for everyone. So this is where I'm at in my brain. And I just thought I would sit down and like talk with you and show you what I'm looking at and where my brain is at and what I think might work. Now, I'm gonna fill this out probably off screen in the night again, Night Owl. And months later, I will show you what this looks like filled out and then I will have another chat with you, let's say October, November. I'll need to make a note of that somewhere <laughs> in one of my things. Telling you if this is successful and maintainable and what I've kept going and what I've dropped. Because I may start with a bunch of this stuff and I may drop some of this stuff as it's not applicable or it's just not helping me out. If it's just not helping me out mentally and it's making me feel overwhelmed. I'm not into it. This is all to help. Like all of this is supposed to help, to organize, to make my life easier, to make sure I don't forget anything. Like, oh my gosh, I'm 44. I forget stuff. Oh my gosh, that's just how life is. So if any part of this becomes too much or isn't working, I'm gonna have to drop it. <laughs> so the only way I know how to like tell you what's working for me and my art brain is to show you what over six months of doing something looks like. So in October, we'll revisit this. I'll do a dedicated video and show you what I have in my moleskin hardbound 400 expanded dot journal. I will link these products in the description box if these appeal to you or you want to give them to someone. But I need to do it and try it and see if it's going to work because my old method of doing this stuff, just, it didn't. And I can show you another layout maybe. I'm trying to find one that doesn't have like notes. Here's another page. Well, it's kind of washed out a bit. But notes, so this was like a rotating extra note section. We were on vacation. We do a year round homeschool. These were things I was getting done. They have little check marks. Here's my month. It was very scrunched. Um, some of these things I don't need to write anymore for daily. Like I don't need to note to myself to work out. Uh, I do that out, out of habit now. I've been doing that every single day for gosh, I think I miss one day a month um, pretty consistently, but it's been going on f since October. So I don't need to put on my to-do list to work out anymore. That's not a thing. 
<laughs> clean desk, clean desk. <laughs> Some of these things, I don't even know how to put these in notes. Maybe you can help me. I don't, I look at this stuff and I think, yeah, I absolutely need to clean my desk. <laughs> I always need to clean my desk. So is that always something I need to note down or what? I do a big clean in January, the start of the year. I refresh all my art supplies. I do all that stuff. But then as I start working on things, more jars end up on my desk of art supplies and stuff. So they're easy access. If I have easy access to it. It's not out of sight. It's not out of mind. I remember to use it. Like, we thought my desk was clean. My desk is not clean. I've got piles of stuff on my desk of art supplies. So... I need to find something that's more maintainable. I'm really hoping that I can borrow some of these ideas that Ryder Carroll's going over. And I don't know if I need a future log. I just think maybe a monthly that I can have that has goals to make sure I hit. And then I break each goal down into four chunks and I can add one of those goals to every seventh daily log so it's like the end of the week I don't maybe I need a monthly a weekly and a daily I don't or just like a daily note that carries over or like a weekly note that carries over on my days or something I'm not sure I to me this all, whole thing has to be customizable to your lifestyle so maybe you don't homeschool or have kids but you go to school or maybe you're working on stuff at work and you need this to be more of a work thing than a home life thing or just an art thing with your commissions versus your personal projects versus um, marketing, promoting, social networking and trying to get out there and turning your art into a more successful side hustle or a more successful career or job. Like I, to me, this whole thing can be moved around. It's all moving parts. Gosh. <laughs> we're gonna see <laughs> we're gonna see what kind of damage I can do with this and a way that I can create and have this going for all the different pieces in my life all the plates in the air that are spinning and we're gonna see in October what was maintainable what wasn't what's been a success what's been a failure what actually helps what's kind of it looks good but it's here nor there this is a problem I have with some of uh, the video ideas I get for planning and scheduling and journaling is that some of this stuff looks really cool or fills the page really nicely. It's visually aesthetic, but it's just not helpful enough. Like, it just doesn't help. Like, I love the idea of having a bullet journal for keeping track of books that you're reading or movies you're watching or uh, any of your hobbies as a form of entertainment and stress relief. But to me, that doesn't help my life. Like I can hop on Goodreads and I don't need to keep track of movies. So what's good for one, it doesn't work for the other. And this is very much a need versus want situation. So I don't need it to look pretty or be artistic, even though I'm an art channel and I'm an art person. It doesn't need to do that. Like, Would that be cool? Sure, everything is cool. However, <laughs> that's just not a priority. And that just, in the long run, that doesn't help me. It just doesn't help. And I need as much help as I can get. So I'm really hoping this helps. And if I figure out something that isn't on here, or if I manipulate something, combine something, or create something you know, totally new, um, if I'm reinventing a wheel in a way that I think might help you, I will definitely discuss that in October and we can figure out from there, like how you could apply that to your life or your needs or the thing, this, the plates spinning in your life, how to keep those going and moving and being successful. This is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot. And I get for some people, like if you are um, at a place in your life where you're retired and it's just, you know, you're living your best mellow life, none of this may be necessary. Like none of it. You may be fine with a to-do list that says relax. And do I am here for it. 
100% here for it. I am so happy with the new chapter in your life where you are just relaxing and doing art and leisure. I am in the thick of it. I am in a different chapter. So I am hoping this helps this portion of my life. <laughs> Note event task. Task completed. Task migrated. Task scheduled. Task relevant. Ugh. Rapid logging. So I really need to get on. <laughs> I need to get on it and figure out how to do all this stuff. I also have, oh gosh. <laughs> I can't open this, but this is just calendar spreads from 23 to 26. This is our house calendar. Our other one um, expired. This is the one my husband picked out. We love plants. Um, this has dentist appointments, orthodontist appointments, yearly um, physical exam for everyone, um, car tune-ups, um, Brevecta, which is <laughs> flea medicine for the dog, um, like it's all the things that are just appointment stuff. And then my husband puts this into his work because his is digital. He's a digital dude, but I'm a visual gal. So I just hand this to him and he puts it in his work thing. And then we both know what is going on and who needs to be where at what time for what thing. Yeah, we have three kids. <laughs> so th this is that. This is what this is. And then I also put in there like when we need to do you know, car maintenance. Um, I, I put in here for things that need to be done monthly that I can't remember. Um, changing the water filter on the fridge, changing the air filter for the house. Like it's just little scribbles and little squares is all this is. But <laughs> with as many like floating planner calendar things as I have, I know, I know. I'm, I'm trying to figure out one that's just gonna help and maybe maybe that isn't maybe it's just always gonna be the way it is now and this isn't going to help me any in which case I can convert this into just a dot planner for my art stuff this will always get used I am not wasted money on a thing I am in the low buy art supply you can see how ivory this paper is can't you good griefage okay but It'll get used. I just really hoping that I can because I keep forgetting things. And then I walk into a room and I'm like, no, I had a different to do thing today. What was that? Or I go outside and I'm like, it's so nice out. What am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> so, so I need to get organized, folks. I'm really hoping 2024 we can just, mm, I know we're already a month in, but I don't care. Goals are for any time. Resolutions are for any time. If January 1st is arbitrary to you, then I support you in that. S set your goals now. Figure out what you want to do now. There's, it. start on a Wednesday. It doesn't matter, you know. The longer you put it off, the longer it'll be to start. So just, I'm trying to figure this out. <laughs> this is what it looks like. This is how I talk to myself before I get to working. So I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna get to working and I'm gonna start filling this out and start with February and see what I can see. And if some of this stuff is awesome, I'm gonna let you know it's awesome. And if some of this stuff feels redundant, I'm gonna cue you in on that as well. So I hope you have an absolutely wonderful week and I will talk to you later. Bye.